That's actually pretty fucking funny. So, Brother Stogie, sometimes when we start filming episodes, we have to take two. Yeah. You know, we gotta cut, and we gotta take two. And so, while Brother Stogie was in his flow, and y'all hear me when I'm in my flow, and he says, Brother Stogie, and guess what? I didn't do something. And I'm looking, and there's a, a plug <laughs> staring at us in the eye, like a well-lubed dildo, just straight <laughs> in the eye, saying, hey, motherfuckers, I ain't plugged me in yet. That's right. Start over. Yeah. Now here we are. So go ahead and do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first time we talked about our week and everything, we'll just summarize this real quick. Your week was good. Yes. Went and spent some time with your lady in the gym. Yes. My week was good. Going to be heading out to Dallas, Texas here. If anybody wants to meet check up, it up, follow meet up. social media, yep. Cigar Titan IG, Cigar Titan on Facebook. Hit him up. If you post, go check him out. All right, now I'm gonna do my thing. Ready? Go ahead. What's going on, everybody? Scar Titan here once again with my good friend, Brother Sogi. Say hello to people. Type thing. And Brother Sogi, we have a topic that was brought to us by one of the members of our Titan community. Yeah. But before we get into that, are you ready to kick off this intro? Let's keep it to it. I'm the one with the alcoholic beverage on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Like we said at the beginning of the episode, we have a topic that we're going to be covering today that was brought to us by the Titan community. So as I said last time, <laughs> yes, that y'all didn't hear, was that um, this is a premiere. So automatically when they premiere, our Titan fam has a habit of putting what they're smoking as they begin this video. So as y'all are doing that, we are going to tell y'all what the cigar tights are smoking for the day. For a second time, tell everybody what you're smoking. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes in you know, and rolls off the tongue a little better the second you time. Know what I'm saying? So I, Brother Stogie, I'm actually smoking one of the cigars that came in last month's LCC Platinum Box, and this is the Sinistro Envy, which was also the Luxury Cigar Club exclusive. And if I'm not, and if, if, I'm, if I'm correct, that looks like a Lancero. It is a Lancero. That is yes. It. You are correct. And I am smoking the La Polina Classic Rosado and Busto, also from LuxuryCigarClub.com, the most luxurious cigar subscription service on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days. It, it, it sounded better than the first It did, it did. Yes, <laughs> I told you. Know? you. Maybe we should just start all over from scratch again a third time. We'll nail everything hey, on the third time. It's top of the dome. <laughs> Back to cigars. So we had a Titan fan member come yes. up in the comments. Um, as y'all, If y'all don't know, now you know that if you comment, we will respond. That's true. Um, if you make a suggestion, we will uh, put it in consideration. If it makes sense, we'll put it in the roller decks. We do that. Uh, if you make a dumbass comment, we will respond and... And, 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 and respond. And respond, yes. <laughs> yes. I think you meant we'll, re we'll, yeah, we'll respond twice. We'll comment and we'll respond, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Maybe I should be drinking, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making you fucked up. <laughs> right. <laughs> say, 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 <laughs> That's right. It's hey, the alcohol coming off of your all breath. All this means, tight band, was to have a damn good time. All right, that's it. So, um... The, the the Titan fan member was like, hey, Cigar Titans, I just began my cigar journey and I am enjoying this, the journey thus far. But how come the Cigar Titans are not worried about the C word? Yes, and you, wait, you mean uh, conservation? Contemplation. Constipation. Uh, under consideration? Culmination. Uh, I think he was talking about cancer. Ah cancer from yes, a smoking cigar so i was like you know what i wasn't gonna comment and tell him i was like you know what we're gonna make an episode just for you yes so this comment mm -hmm. asked the titans yeah since we smoke our fair share of cigars fair share yeah were we or are we worried about cancer yes and if so why and if mm. not how come right Brother Stogie. Yeah. You you took this comment to heart. I did. And you did some research on this. I did. And what did you find? 
So I went on a numerous, you know, uh, what's it called? Dependable. I'm, I'm, I was looking for the master's degree, the graduate term, but I couldn't find it under the <laughs> under the influence of a strawberry margarita with double salted rim. Right. But I will say uh, a dependable resource, which was CDC.org. Okay. Um, I think another one was free to pa- free to pack o- free to pack o- hat, <laughs> Shit, it's gonna be one of those. Um, <laughs> strap in, put your seatbelts on. Everybody's right, gonna, gonna be one journey. of those episodes. Free tobacco.org. <laughs> so these, this is a culmination of all these websites kind of put together. So instead of just reading off a whole bunch of facts, I come to a conclusion and summarized what that looks like for the Titan fan. Yes. Now we're going to give the actual facts yeah. and statistics, and then we'll, we'll we'll interject our opinion here and put our little Titan flare on it at the end. Yeah, so for cigarettes, okay? So for cigarettes, it was funny. So you go on cdc.org and your free tobacco trust.com and they say that cigarette smoke is filled with more than 70, quote unquote, cancer causing chemicals, including these. Yeah. And they list formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is one. Found in embalming fluid and cigarette smoke. Yeah. Okay. Naphthalene. Naphthalene. Found in mothballs and cigarette smoke. Mm, you wouldn't want to smoke a mothball. No, I don't think so. Um, toluene. Okay. Okay. Uh, found in paint thinner and cigarette smoke. Paint thinner? Paint thinner. And the last but not, but not last but not least of the few included chemicals in cigarettes. Is lead. Lead. Yes. Remember back in the day when paint used to have lead in it? Mm hmm. And all these children's toys, way, way, way back in the day, yeah. used to have paint with lead in it. And then they realized just how harmful lead was to people. And so they removed the lead from the paint. That's probably why they stopped doing those, remember those old school Tonka trucks? Yeah. They came in the hardcore metal. I mean, if, it took, if the kid was playing with it, they might bust, spit the they dome open a little yep, bit. Yep. It was a real toy. Yep. They got all this plastic shit. Yep. But those may have, may have continued lead at some point. So they got rid of them, right? So what I want to do is get to the statistics of what? What was that word? Statistics. Okay. So I thought it was the statistics. It probably was. <laughs> of what they consider cigarettes okay. and cigars. Okay, so trying to figure out the difference there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so a large cigar, CDC website, 2.7%, a cigar that typically contains at least one half ounce of aged fermented tobacco, an example, as much as a pack of cigarettes, and usually takes one to two hours to smoke. Okay. Okay. That would probably encompass most of the premium cigars. Premium cigars. Cigar. Yeah. A cigarillo. Okay. Okay. A short three to four inch and narrow cigar that typically typically contains about three grams of tobacco and usually does not contain a filler. Okay. A little cigar. A small cigar that typically uh, typically is about the same size as a cigarette and usually includes a filter. Okay. Okay. So your little cigars. Throw some examples out there. Will be all of your far four twenty friendly buddies out there. Those are your little cigars, your backwoods, yeah, your black miles, yep, your sweet miles, the sweet miles. Uh, sure, black miles, black and miles. Shit, yes, <laughs> but they're sweet. Have I mercy. think uh, cloves used to fall under that category as well. I don't know if they still make cloves or not. If they do or they don't, throw it down in the comments. Let us know. But mm-hmm. you know, one of the things that cloves used to have in them too was fiberglass. <sighs> Yeah, which is crazy. Right. So, cigarettes. In 2020, 12.5% of U.S. adults, estimated 30.8 million people, currently smoked cigarettes. That included 14.1% of men and 11% of women. Each day, about 1,600 youth tried their first cigarette. Okay? So, the funny thing is, so when you go and you research health statistics based off a cigar, there is no detailed explanation of what chemicals are found in cigars. Only only thing it says is that one cigar, because of the amount of leaves that go into one stick, may hold as much nicotine as one pack of cigarettes, which can considerably, you know, construed as maybe true. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's a fair comparison though, but sure. But if you're inhaling these bad boys, which you shouldn't, 
because with a cigar tightening, most cigar people in the community uh, portray is not to inhale cigarette smoke because right. the amount of nicotine that cigar smoke cigar smoke that goes into each drag. The comparison that found trouble, okay, okay, was the grouping of long cigars, short cigars, and small cigars. And so I guess the issue that we ran into with, with the FDA and our whole FDA ban of infused cigarettes right. is that they started mentioning cigarettes or cigars? cigars of infused cigars was they started grouping in percentages of high school smokers and middle school smokers with little cigars. Okay. And they ran those in conjunction at those statistics and well long cigars are premium cigars, which is unfair. Agreed. But you have to be 18 years old to purchase well, 21 now. 21. Any any kind of tobacco. Right. But like I said, you must you have you have to be 21 to even step into a cigar establishment. Yes. Period. But back to my point. So there were no known chemicals noted with cigar smoking. Okay. As there was a cigarette smoke. So we go to this after being presented these facts. Why are the cigar titans not worried, or are we, about cancer? Okay, I guess that was a question. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Don't make me work too hard. Shit. I'm trying, I'm trying to work the best I can to the Starbury Margarita. Margarita. <laughs> Margarita. <laughs> so, you know, to say that, first and foremost, I know this is probably something that we're going to end on. Like anything you do, like with many vices or even hobbies for that matter, there's always a benefit to risk ratio, mm -hmm. right? It's no different for those of us who love cigars or are involved in the cigar community. So the benefit is, you know, we like the flavors of the cigar. We like the social aspects of being around other like-minded individuals mm -hmm. who all partake in the same luxury that we do. Um, the health benefits can also help lower blood pressure. You know, again, not a doctor, simply going off of... Mm -hmm you know, things that I've seen through other people and stuff. Some other things too is it just relaxes you. Like it puts you in a nice, almost zen-like state of mind. Mm -hmm. You know, when you've had a hard day, you come out, you light up your cigar and you just sit there and again, you know, we've talked about it in previous episodes, but that's time you're setting aside for yourself. Right. Right. And I think that Brother Stogie and I would both agree, especially in today's hectic, chaotic, move so fast world, it is absolutely, absolutely, I'm telling you, it's that contact, absolutely <laughs> imperative that people take time for themselves, whether that be cigars or gym or some kind of a hobby, anything, just to set aside some time for yourself. But the risks to that, is there a risk of getting cancer from smoking cigars? Sure, mm -hmm. 100%. However, if you go on to like the FDA's website and you actually do some research on cigars, the number of cancer-related incidents as it pertains specifically to premium cigars was almost so low that there wasn't a reasonable way for them to measure mm -hmm. that impact. And therefore, um, they retracted a lot of what they were saying about the premium cigar mm -hmm. industry, specifically premium hand-rolled cigars, uh, because the data just wasn't there to support that. It's not the same as smoking a cigarette where you've got carcinogens and embalming fluid, mm -hmm. you know, like all this other crazy stuff that they put into cigarettes. So yes, there's a risk, but the risk for me personally is outweighed by the pleasure that I get out of smoking cigars and the trance-like state that it puts me in, almost a meditative state when I'm sitting down and actually enjoying a, a stick. Okay. What about you, Brother Stogie? So I'm gonna throw out some more numbers for y'all real quick. So for cigarette smokers, you're talking about in 2020, 12.5% of U.S. adults, and that's me 30.8 million people Okay, currently smoke cigarettes. Okay. That is 14.1% of men and 11% of women. Okay. Cigars. Percentage of U.S. adults who currently smoke cigars in 2020. Okay. 3.5% of adults. 
6.3% of all adult males. And watch this. 0.8% of adult females right. who smoked cigars. That's a big difference. Now, too much, we, 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 we all have heard those, those phrases, too much of anything is too, it can be bad for you. Sure, don't overindulge. You know, don't overindulge, or if you have, you know, if you come from my, you know, field of, my career field, you know, if you have those addictive personalities, you might want to find something else. If your body can handle chemical changes. Sure. Like others can. And I'm pretty sure if you know you've developed into your family history, you can know what your family family tree struggles with. Yep. You know what not to do. Right. You know, but this you just don't hear of a hundred and ten year old cigarette smoker, but you do of cigar smokers. Yeah. You know, you don't hear communities to where you usually associate cigar cigarette smoking with Kind of that moment of, I say, where your mind is frazzled, need a quick break before you become frazzled again. Mm -hmm. Do people smoke cigars starting off frazzled and end frazzled? No, absolutely not. They shouldn't. You know? So I'm, so I'm not, what we're not trying to do is say, hey, cigarettes are bad, smoke cigars only. Right. You know, that's not, that's not what we're doing. What we are saying is anything can be bad. Yes. Bodybuilding, off-roading. Sure. Skateboarding. Street racing. You know what I'm saying? So whatever your vice is to keep you calm, that's that's your that's your poison. Pick yeah. your it's pick your poison. Right. Quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? But what we do preach on this channel is take care of yourself. Cause you heighten your risk of cancer, of complications with your immune system and cardiovascular system when you're overweight. Yep. You don't keep, take care of yourself. You don't exercise. Um, and we're not talking about going to the gym seven days a week, y'all. Breast smoking only goes two to three times a week. You know what I'm saying? But I work my butt off those days I do go. I eat good. I drink protein. I, my protein intake is decent. But you have some that don't do any of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your risk kind of runs higher than that. So if you live a decent lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? You take care of yourself for the gist. You brush your teeth. You go to the dentist. You go to the doctor. Get your yearly checkup. You're an adult. Do what the fuck you want to do. That's right. But let's doggy. Cigar time. That is all the time we have for today. It is, man. What should the people do? Continue to do what you've been doing. Subscribe to the damn channel. What I do love is all the women I see in the comments lately. Yeah. Been and quite I, a few. I'm, I'm hoping they're subscribing. Yeah, been quite a few. That's awesome. Jacqueline. Hey, Sarah, we know you out there still. Norma, welcome to the Titan fan. Mr. Garvin, even though we had our little discrepancy in the comments, <laughs> I hope you're still watching. Welcome to the Titan fan. All of our OGs, Adam Wolf, Daryl Hampton, our Darshans of Darshan. Don't yeah. forget DJ Brian. Though. That's right. DJ Brian's been in there. Don't forget DJ Brian. Doing the thing. You know what I'm saying? To our OGs that's been in there for these past four years, as the Scar Titans have been on the YouTubes. Yes. As Cigar Titan says. Because we are what? The most uh -huh. entertaining uh -huh. cigar channel yeah. on all of the YouTube. All of the damn YouTubes. So make sure if you don't want to miss content from these two guys, the black guy and the white guy, or salt and pepper. If he identifies as a black guy. <laughs> no, he I doesn't. May don't go get me canceled. <laughs> <laughs> no. Absolutely not. No, we're not Make doing that. Make that bell notification so you, know, so you get new notification every time Scar Titan posts. If anybody's gonna get anybody, if anybody's gonna get me canceled, I'm gonna do it on my own, brother. So <laughs> <laughs> like, share, subscribe, comment, introduce yourself. Let us know how you found us. If you're enjoying the channel or not. Um, and two days time, man. The fight smoke, smoke how you live. It looks squirrely That's today. That's smooth, baby. <laughs> See everybody next week. That's the drink. <laughs>